Certainly everyone is aware that Spider-Man led a challenging life. Yet somehow he manages to go through it and hide the pain under his quips that he makes. You okay? I'm fine, I'm fine. Just resting. Like how we hide our pain under our mask. He struggled financially and strove to find equilibrium or at very least cherish whatever the fleeting moment he could. For life? Could you imagine a seahorse seeing another seahorse? He might have come across his frequent assertion that this existence was both a curse and blessing for him. However, as he aged, the blessing faded away, leaving only the curse to accompany him into his 70s. So, the story that I'm about to share revolves around aging Peter Parker summoning the resilience to keep living despite the weight of time and trials. In this heartfelt tale, Peter finds himself in the later years of his life. His days as Spider-Man is now a distant memory. Struggling to make ends meet, he's on quest for a decent job that can provide him with the financial security he seeks. Unfortunately, his current job isn't going well as he made yet another mistake, resulting in his dismissal. As the past memories wash over Peter, he thinks about his beloved wife. Her memory is a bittersweet companion, bringing both comfort and longing as he navigates this difficult phase of his life. As if things couldn't get any tougher, his boss unleashes a barrage of criticism, highlighting the recurring error he's made. With heavy heart, Peter walks away from the encounter. He starts turning inward. In a quiet and reflective moment, Peter's internal voice speaks out, revealing his emotional turmoil. No money, no job, no dignity. Just like the old times. Even though he's given so much to protect the city, respect and recognition remain elusive. Well, coming from a middle class background like mine, our ideals often revolve around finding that comfortable balance between not being poor yet not exactly rich. We strive to put in the effort to study, earn a degree, secure a job, and build our wealth so that by the time we reach our 50s or 60s, retirement becomes a tangible goal. But how many of us are we able to achieve that? These worries would often visit me under the clock of darkness, staring at my thoughts. The fear of growing old, the uncertainty of ever rising above life's challenges. This particular chapter of this story paints a disconcerting portrait of life, an aspect I've always been uneasy about. As he returns home, he talks to himself about how he is going to try for another job. Yes, at core, Peter is someone who is never going to give up. His mental strength is still there, even though he is physically weakened due to his old age. He maintains this inner dialogue while preparing dinner for himself. There's a scene where Peter sits at one end of the table, while Mary Jane occupies the other. He feels as though he's been distant from his true self for far too long. The quiet of the room seems to amplify, and in frustration, he raises his voice at Mary Jane, urging her to say something, only to quickly apologize after. The story then takes a somber turn. As he lies in bed, attempting to sleep, the words that came out of his mouth shattered my heart. This is the moment when narrative unveils that all along, Mary Jane had passed away, and she existed only in his mind. He expresses his profound loneliness as there's no one left to care for him in his twilight years. The man who once protected the city as if it were his own child is now alone. The tale becomes even more depressive as I delve through multiple pages and discover that it was Peter who accidentally caused Jane's death. The radioactive substances within Peter's bodily fluids proved to be fatal to his beloved, and despite the doctor's effort, her life couldn't be saved. The only person he had in this vast world is now lost because of his actions. Even in her final moments, Peter finds no respite as the blading sirens of police cars resonate throughout the city. Wearing his mask, he sets out to do what he must. This is the moment where the gift fades away, and the burden of responsibility becomes a curse. The curse extends to all his loved ones, placing them in hell, and even claiming the life of the person he cherished the most. So all along, Peter has been steeped in loneliness, with more memories of her haunting his reality. He somehow endures the immense guilt day by day, hoping for better tomorrow. But did he ever give up? 
despite losing everything, every ounce of happiness a person could ever possess, and even having his identity exposed by Jameson, he remained resolute. He was pummeled by life's blows even in his two light years, when he should have been at home, perhaps reminiscing about his late wife. Yet the unwavering strength of this man to rise above and confront his challenges again and again is what offered me the hope to preserve and accomplish more in my life. You can observe that Peter is old now and recognizes that he's currently outmatched. Nevertheless, he strives to do what he can, consistently making his appearance the moment the city faces danger. It's akin to how even as children grow older and seemingly forget their parents, but a parent's love remains unwavering, propelling them to be there for their children in times of need. Despite his limitations, Peter preserves upholding his commitment to protect the city. The night that he buried MJ was also the day he buried his true self, the red and blues. And with a bang, the Spider-Man that we all loved, admired, who never gave up, Instead of running and hiding behind everything, he showed up once again to put an end to the Sinister Six for good this time. In the initial pages of this comic, Peter found himself unable to bear the weight of his responsibilities any longer. He had reached the point where he no longer wished to live. His sole desire was to be reunited with the love of his life, side by side in the graveyard, buried six feet deep. He yearned to escape the world's hardships and crawl into the coffin, bidding farewell to this cruel existence. He wanted to relinquish his duty, retiring from the burden that he had shouldered for a very long time. However, as the story unfolds, Spider-Man comes to a realization. He understands that this isn't who truly he is. No matter how dire the circumstances, at his core, he is both Spider-Man and Peter. He embodies the essence of man who consistently chooses to do what's right, regardless of the challenges he faces. With newfound resolve, he departs from MJ's grave, telling her that he must continue to bear his responsibilities. As odd it might sound, during my lowest moment of my life, when I had no friends or support, I found solace in reading multiple Spider-Man comics and playing the games. Through the stories, I discovered that I was my own constant companion and nobody is going to come and save me. It was me all along, alone, and I lifted myself up. Well, from critic point of view, critics might have dismissed this story saying that it sounds like Dark Knight because it, it also has the same story as this story. Uh, Bruce is coming out of retirement to fight crime once again. But for me, this comic hit me on much deeper emotional level because Batman always possesses the choice to abandon this, his responsibilities due to his wealth. Individuals like us lack that luxury. We are left with the decision to either flee from our challenges or confront them. Well, I'm sharing all of this because I recognize that some people like me might be going through the hardest pace of their lives or maybe potentially worse than mine. So I simply want to convey that we must navigate through the darkness before we can bask in the light that the sun brings, guiding us and momentarily taking away our pain. Thank you so much for watching.